CFM 56 7B Fan Blade Removal This video training aid deals with the removal of spinner cones, retaining rings and fan blades from the CFM 56 7B engine. It is intended as a supplement to the information found in the relevant technical documentation. For a complete description of the procedures, refer to the latest revision of the Aircraft Maintenance Manual and Engine Shop Manual, ATA, Chapter 7.2.2100. The tooling used in this video is what the technical documentation recommends. However, due to different line capabilities, alternate tooling options may be used, provided they meet the requirements of the removal procedure. Remove the spinner front cone. And remove the spinner rear cone using three equally spaced guide pins, one of them at the 12 o'clock position. If not removed during spinner removal, remove the fan retaining flange. Use wrench 856A3782 to turn the fan retaining ring until the lugs of the retaining ring are in front of the scallops of the fan disc. Blade number one is immediately above the offset hole on the fan disc bolt flange. Use an approved marker to identify the fan blade position. Mark this blade number one. Number the remaining fan blades from 2 to 24 in a counterclockwise direction as seen from the front of the engine. With the blade to be removed, placed at 12 o'clock, apply a bead of Vaseline on each side of the blade and on the airfoils of the two adjacent blades above the blade platform seals. Move the blade to the 6 o'clock position and use puller 856A3707 to remove the three spacers, one from the blade to be removed and the other two from the two adjacent blades. Place the platform to be removed at 12 o'clock. Jerk and lower the three fan blades in their slots to lubricate the platform seals. Install puller 856A3779 on the platform to be removed. Lift the rear of the blade root into the slot of the booster spool forward flange. While you keep the rear of the blade root lifted with your hand, push the second blade with your elbow. Pull axially to disengage the platform. Repeat the process for the platform located on the other side of the fan blade to be removed. remove the fan blade from the fan disc slot. If you are changing a pair of fan blades, repeat this complete process for the removal of the opposite blade. If you are changing the complete set of blades, continue the removal in a counterclockwise direction as seen from the front of the engine. Removing respectively and in that order, one spacer, one platform, and one blade. As you can see here, lifting the rear of the blade creates a clearance between the blade and the platform, which helps for platform disengagement. Note that the front of the fan blade should stay down during the whole platform removal. 